Hi there, thanks for checking out our repair channel. If this is your first time seeing one of our videos, we appreciate you checking us out. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit subscribe. If you like this kind of these kind of videos and this kind of stuff, interest you, uh, hit that like button. We've got over 350 videos on our YouTube channel of different electric fence units that we've worked on. We've got some how-to videos, some review videos, um, some how they work videos on the inside, and, and just some overview of things as well um, we also work on cattle and livestock waste scales and low bars um, so if you got a low bar uh, or a scale that's not working right we'll help you troubleshoot it and most of those can still be fixed there's a few uh, brands on the, at least the um, I don't know about the low bars but the scales some of the older true test and older Gallagher scales are getting harder to fix because uh, they're not making a lot of parts for their older scales um so sometimes that happens with stuff that's been discontinued for 10 years they you know they keep parts around for a while then they slowly discontinue them but we work on a lot of different fence chargers we work on about anything that's out there old style new style i mean we get units in that are 50 60 70 years old some sometimes and and um depending on what's wrong with them those can sometimes be fixed too i mean we worked on a uh an old international something other from like i think the sticker or not sticker the um Oh, there's a handwritten uh, and marker on the inside of the case. I don't know if it's when it was last worked on or when it was manufactured, but it was like July 14th of 1968 or something like that. So we get units in that have got some age to them. And, uh, and I think that one we were able to fix. So, you know, we get a lot of things in uh, for repair. You can check our website out. It's uh, fencerfixer.com. There are links in the description area down below. If you hit the little drop down arrow, there's a link to our website, which is fencerfixer.com and we have our cattle scale repair site which is cattleskillrepair.com so but we get free quotes uh 18 month warranties on anything that we work on and uh no matter how old they are and we also give uh part of our warranty is lightning damage as well so well let's get in this unit real quick this one's already been fixed uh i just want to kind of go over an overview of this one talk about it a little bit uh, this is a speed right 12,000 i uh, the Stay Fixed equivalent, which is just like it, except a different colored case, is called the Stay Fix X12i. Same exact guts, just a different colored case and different sticker on the front, but the internals are exactly the same. Um, this is their I series, whatever you want to call it. It's a remote capable, so you can use the Speed Ride or Stay Fix remote control fault finder that they make for them. Um, it's a pretty handy device to have. So, but this is a, internally, this is a 12 volt unit, but they make this little uh, power adapter that's a AC to DC uh, conversion deal. So we're gonna plug, plug this in. And we'll turn it on here. First, uh, here I'll go through the little, what these little letters are, or these little symbols are. Uh, this is your off, this is your battery check, which corresponds with uh, when you're on this one, However, if you run it strictly off 12 volt, a battery, because it does come with some alligator clips and a battery uh, to hook up just to a 12 volt battery if you don't want to plug it into a wall, and this will light up here. So we got plugged into a wall, so it should light all of these up. Give it a second. There it goes. See, it's all the way lit up there, so that's to tell you, hey, your battery's charged up. Next setting is your rabbit which is your faster pulse. It pulses like every oh, second and a half or so at full power. And then you've got the turtle right here. It's still a full power charge coming out, but it is a, uh, it's at a slower rate. Oh, real quick, when you're on here, see that upper number right there? That's your voltage on your battery. So it, this is plugged into a wall and the power Output source says uh, 15 volts, what the little power box thing said, but this says 14. So you got at least that much in it. So that's, you know, tells you how charged up your battery is, what that upper number is. All right, so we'll go to this little symbol here is half power. So you can see the volts have dropped down to six and a half or so. And the lights aren't going all the way up as far as they were. And as a normal one and a half second pulse, roughly, this is full power. So you jump back up to 9,000 volts and the lights are going up high again. So what this light is for, a lot of brands have uh, lights or numbers, like Parmac has those digital numbers on their new stuff. And uh, the higher the number is, the less 
stress on your fence or better your fence conditions are. Gallagher's got it on some of their units, a row of lights that light up. So it's just like your fence performance gauge. It tells you how clean your fence is. If you walk by and the number's up high there, the lights are going pretty high there, you know, okay, my fence is, is good. But where we're going to hook up to this unit is I've got a load that I'm hooked up to this unit. I'm going to go across fencing ground. I've got a 150 ohm, like a 20 watt resistor. Closer you get to zero ohm, which is a dead short, the more between fence and ground, the heavier the load is. So I've got a, a big old resistor here. I think it's 150 ohm. And we're going to put this across these terminals right here. And you'll see how this number is going to drop. So we're going to put it back with a full power. 9,000 volts. So if you're walking by one day and it shows eight, 9,000 volts, you're like, okay, I'm going pretty good. And you walk by a week later, a month later, or whatever, and then all of a sudden, you know, the voltage, see how the voltage dropped down? It's 5.7. And uh, the um, uh, lights aren't going all the way up into the far, far green. So, you know, okay, I've got a load up there. There's, something's out to drag my fence down. Either a bunch of grass or a... Um, you know, uh, maybe an animal ran through the fence, caught his leg on, you know, deer's jumping the fence or something like that, caught his foot on the wire, popped it off an insulator, and now it's rusted up against a T-post. I mean, it could be anything. It could just be a whole bunch of grass. I mean, this is a 12 output joule unit, so it puts out a pretty good uh, shock. So, I mean, we're, we're at 150 ohms, and this is uh, dragging down pretty good, but still uh, pumping out almost 6,000 volts. Um, but as soon as you find your problem and fix it, the numbers will vent, will climb right back up. So uh, it's, it's instantaneous. So as you fix your problem and turn the unit back on, the voltage doesn't take a while to climb back up. Just boom, it comes right back up. I'll turn it off real quick. Actually, here, I'll do this. I'll go ahead and power it on. We'll put a fence tester across there, show you what it's putting out. I mean, if it wasn't working right, this number wouldn't be showing right. So this unit is good, but we'll put the fence tester across there. We're going to use a Gallagher... Fence voltmeter, the old number name on it was the Gallagher DVM3. It's the same name, just different uh, sticker on it. 9.1, so it basically reads what that thing there does. So, um, so it's working fine. Uh, we'll do a little spark jump across. I'll just take my load here. I'll go across the ground side, get real close to the hot side. So it puts out a pretty good shock. So, but if you've got one of these things, a Speedrite 12,000i or the uh, green equivalent of the StayFix X12i or any other size Speedrite uh, unit, old, old or new, we, we work on all of them. Some of the older Speedrites, like the M20R or 20,000R, what do they call them things? Um, those older ones are getting harder to fix, but the old Speedrites, like the 90... SM 9800s or the SM 5800s or the 580s or 980s, those old ones from the 90s and late 80s, those ones you can still rebuild if you know what you're doing. You can repair the boards and them and get them going again. But um, hopefully this was a nice video for you to watch. Uh, we appreciate you checking us out. Remember to go to our website, fencerfixer.com find out more about us. We work on about every brand you can think of. If it's repairable, we'll, we'll try to repair it. Uh, we're a mom and pop repair shop, independent from anybody. We're not tied to anybody. We work on every brand out there. If you're ever looking to buy one, we don't sell them. But if you're kind of curious on what's good and what's bad out there, if you don't, if you want an honest opinion of what's good and what's bad about a particular brand or model, call us up, text us, email us, whatever. We'll give you the opinion honestly about a unit. Um, so there are some good brands, and then there's none, not so good brands, and then there's ones in between, you know. So there's a little bit of everything out there, depending on what you want to spend. There's some overpriced junk out there, and there's some cheap junk, and then there's some semi-cheap that's not so bad. And there's expensive stuff that's really good. So there's a little bit of everything for everybody's budget that's out there. But um, hopefully you like this video. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button. Tell your friends about us. You know, we, we work on about anything, so... Until we do another video of how one uh, operates or how one works or how to fix one, we will see you guys later.